Brent here. Speak English with this guy. And this is another hotel English lesson. If this is your first time here, what I do for these hotel English lessons is I visit the hotel that I will be sleeping in tonight and I can't stop recording for any reason, no matter what. If we bump into someone and they start talking to me, I can't stop. If I trip, I can't stop until we get to my room and I'll show you my room. And the idea is that you will learn English along the way. I am in the city of Portland, Portland, Maine, and um, there's a place across the street I hope I never have to visit, but it is a, a big hospital. It's the biggest one in Maine. It's called Maine Medical Center. And there are a couple cranes right there. Those big tall things are cranes because I think they are getting some work done on the hospital. Ooh, and there's a helipad up there. We call it a helipad. Not sure if you can see it, but it's when a helicopter has to land because someone is really hurt. All right, here is my hotel. It's one of the most unique hotels I have ever stayed in and definitely the most unique on the channel. That's my hotel for tonight. It's called the Inn at St. John. And that is a uh, bus you might take if you come to Portland. So we are going to try to cross the street without getting hit. And they have some flags when you walk in or when you walk across the street. Some flags here. Anybody know that one? Ukraine. France, shout out to Danny, Freddie Wolf, Patty Candle. That's the UK. That is what we call the pride flag. So if anyone is gay, it's like, hey, it's okay if you come here and you're gay. So it's a gay pride flag. And you can see the inn at St. John. That blue flag is the Maine state flag. The state of Maine, that's our flag. You probably know that one, right? The Stars and Stripes, United States. And right next to my hotel, is the Hong Kong market. I don't know what, I don't know what language that is, but hopefully you can tell me in the comments. So I'm really nervous to go in here because it's kind of small. I hope they don't ask me to stop filming, but I will probably get some funny looks like, why is that guy recording in here? So here's a look at the, uh, the lobby. That's a grandfather clock. And when you first come to the hotel, they will uh, give you some coffee. Oh no, I'm getting some strange looks. I'm gonna pretend nobody's looking at me. Um, you can get some coffee when you come in. Huh? Beautiful lamp. And the best part about staying here is they have snacks for you too. Cookies. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one of these for later. Could have some hot chocolate if you'd like.
some ice. I don't know why you'd want ice for your hot chocolate, but. And those are empty. Maybe they have water in there sometimes. I need to be careful I don't squish my cookie in my pocket. Now some of these rooms around here, oh, look at this. We shouldn't go in that room. That has uh, supplies for the hotel. Towels, we might call those linens. Towels, linens. Please do not disturb. Some people put those on their doorknobs so you don't come in there. Please do not disturb. This is the back door right here. A Dunkin' Donuts and a McDonald's right next door, just in case this cookie doesn't hold you over. Do you know that term? If um, you're gonna get a snack a little while before you eat a big meal, you might say, ooh, I think this cookie will hold me over. That means I won't be hungry until my meal. So hopefully this cookie will hold me over. Uh, my wife is here, Jamie. We're going out to eat in a little bit. Management is not responsible for damaged or stolen property. So if you park your car here, It's reserved parking, so only people staying at the hotel can park in this parking lot. But if somebody damages your car, don't blame the people that own the hotel. It's not their fault. Now I'll be lucky if I can find my room. They give us an old fashioned key. I am in room 8B. I think it's on the second floor. There is a bathroom in the lobby, that's handy. These stairs are steep and they are narrow and I can hear somebody vacuuming. Hello. So I'm in 8B. So it looks like I need to go to the left and up to the left and up the center staircase. So let's go left. All right, B and C floor. They don't call it floor one, two, and three. I guess they do letters here. Me vacuuming the stairs. There's a closet, I'm sure. Yeah, it's locked. Ooh, another closet. And this hotel is really old, just in case you can't tell. And sometimes the hotel rooms 
do not have a bathroom in them. You might have to leave your room to go to the bathroom, but you will have a private bath. So this is 9B. And that is room 9B, so that's where their bathroom is. But I paid a little extra money. I can't remember how much money I paid for this hotel. I think it's $170, I think. But we had a couple coupons, so it didn't cost that much. But if you wanna come here and stay with your private bathroom in the month of April, because it gets really expensive here in the summer. I think it's $170. I'll put up exactly how much it was. I didn't want to mess up with the lock, so I left my room unlocked just in case, because I can't stop this video for anything, so I didn't want to stumble with the key. But here's our room. It is pretty small. We call that the radiator. And I think you gotta be careful. It's not on right now, but if it's on, I bet it gets hot. We do have some exposed pipes. Exposed pipes, they're not in the wall. You can see them. It's what we call exposed pipes. I'm not sure. Some sort of fan, it's actually blowing out hot air. We don't, that's a heater of some sort. Those, I bet those radiators don't work anymore. They don't want somebody to come into the hotel and burn themselves. So this was really hot. I bet that is the way you heat the room. Air conditioner here is the way you cool the room. It's kind of perfect right now. We don't need an air conditioner on, but. Uh -oh. oh, it's not plugged in. All right, so if it ever does get too hot in here, we can run the air conditioner. We call this stuff wallpaper. This was popular a long time ago in the United States, but since this hotel is old, I guess they still have the wallpaper. Refrigerator and a little coffee maker here. that says Cape Coffee. I've never heard of that, Cape Coffee. Okay, so it looks like uh, K, K has left an envelope here to leave a tip. And I think it's almost Easter. Easter is sometimes in March, and sometimes in April. We haven't had Easter yet, so she put a little Easter egg on there. But this is a, an envelope, or an envelope, some people say envelope, for tips. So if you think the room was really clean, you could leave the housekeeper. We might call somebody who cleans the room a housekeeper you can leave the housekeeper a little extra money because they did a good job. Like, call it a tip. And that looks like um, a napkin. No, sorry, not a napkin. Those are tissues, but... 
almost like that's like a napkin on top. So a napkin you might use at a as a at a meal to wipe your mouth. But a tissue you might use to wipe tears or blow your nose. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Oh. That's some bright pink right there. Lots of wallpaper, lots of wallpaper. So they put that, I guess, so you know the toilet was cleaned. Nobody has used the toilet um, since they cleaned it. Not a great view. Looks like kind of the roof there, a subway in the distance. We might call those toilet trees in case you forgot your body lotion, shower gel, conditioner, shampoo, a couple cups that are sanitized. I can't, fake flower. It felt real at first, but I think that's fake. That's not a real flower. Hair dryer, some soap. Let's take a look at the bathtub. Ooh, coat hanger. Eh, pretty basic shower. Ironing board, iron. There's your iron. Colorful ironing board. Another radiator. I forgot to show you, uh, they left us some mints. It looks like those were like little chocolate mints. Yeah, when we were in here before, Jamie, my wife, opened one, said it looked like chocolate. It might be. It might be minty. All right, I hope you have enjoyed this English lesson at a hotel. Hope you learned a little something. If you're looking for more English lessons at hotels, right up there, whole playlist full of them. Thanks for watching. See you next time.